In this tutorial, we'll have a quick look at how to access something called a OneNote class notebook, which we do through your Teams area. So once you've logged into Office 365 and Teams, you go to the class where you want to access the class notebook. If your teacher has set a class notebook, you'll see across the top of the main page with these tabs, class notebook is the third tab along. So let's go have a look. So class notebook is a separate piece of, um, or a separate app or piece of kit that will open up within Teams. And depending on what the last page you used, this viewable area will be slightly different. This arrow to the left of the work area, if we click on that, we get a range of other options. So on the far left, we get all these tabs. So let me close that one by clicking on that little chevron. You may have a collaboration space where you can work with other students. There's highly likely to be a content library where your teacher will provide you with content. Now this is a teacher view, so you won't see a teacher only folder and you won't see everybody else's work. You will just have your own folder. So let's have a look at this student's area by clicking on there. It's highly likely that you'll be met with these four subsections. The teacher who has set this up can have fewer sections or more and can rename them, so they may look a bit different. But this is your area. The teacher can send work to it. Anything you post can be seen by the teacher. Other students can't see in here. So if I go on this class notes section, we've now got a series of sub pages. And on this one here, sub page March exam, question two and four, we can see the actual content that's viewable. When I click in here, it collapses that navigation panel so we can have a look. So this student can see a scanned in image of the work that they have done for me. Now, if you don't like working in this area, opening and closing this, these kind of navigation menus, there are a couple of things you can do. So if I click on here, open in browser, if you happen to have the app installed, you can open it there, but open in browser will give you a much fuller page experience. So we can see here, it's opened up exactly the same content, but in a much wider space. The navigation menu will remain open and you can work in here. At any point, whether you're in the Teams view or in this fuller view, you'll notice that you have an add page section. So if in your class notes and you added a page in this menu here, whatever title you give it, it will now appear as a sub page. And the beauty of OneNote is that you can click anywhere on this canvas and start typing notes. And you can insert almost anything. So within the web view, which is really good, we can click in and add in files, so Word and PowerPoint, it will link them in. Direct search for images online or from files that you've got. You can record audio in. There's a whole range of things you can do. So it's like a, a notebook space, which is really flexible. Um, and like an exercise book, it's essentially it's like an online exercise book, your teacher would be able to go in and look at what you've been typing or adding or researching and comment on your work directly in here. So it's a pretty powerful learning tool. So have a go and remember to use uh, the DigiHelp email helpline if you get stuck. Good luck.